All right, we're going to see if we can actually record this game without my computer exploding. Uh, we are using an emulator today to play Twisted Metal on the PS3. I, uh, you know, it's one of those things like I would play the original version, but I don't have a PS3 anymore, and I really didn't feel like going out, finding a PS3 just to play this one game. But in my opinion, I do think it's worth it because this game is extremely underrated within the Twisted Metal entire community. I don't feel enough people talk about it, and I think a lot of that has to do with a lot of the game was centered around the multiplayer, which failed miserably, and, and sadly so, because I really loved the multiplayer of this game, and I actually really enjoyed the story as well. I, I enjoyed the single player experience. I 100% of this game when it first came out, I remember I got all the way through and got Warthog unlocked and Juggernaut unlocked, and let me tell you, those are not easy to do. They take a lot of play time, a lot of redoing the full playthrough, uh, and there's a lot of BS involved, and yeah, anyway. And while we're playing the game today, I'm going to talk about the reasons why I love this game and why I also am like, super excited that there is rumors they're making another Twisted Metal that's going to be coming out for PS5. Obviously, nothing is set in stone there. It's all going to be theory and speculation at this point, but nonetheless, I'm excited. If you're new to the channel, first of all, thank you for being here, and second of all, I normally go through the tournaments on Twisted Metal while I'm talking to you guys, but for this video, I'm going to do just the challenge mode, and the reason for that is mainly because the story mode is extremely long uh, compared to the other games. It involves three main storylines instead of just one, and it's, it's about a five to six hour experience, especially since I haven't played it in a while. So that's why we're just going to do a challenge today. And if you want to see more Twisted Metal PS3 gameplay, let me know in the comment section below. And also leave a like, share, support. And of course, I will come back to this game very soon. But that being said, let's see. There's a lot of good maps in this game. In my opinion, I, I don't really think any of them are really bad. I never disliked any of them. I just wish there were more. Because what they did is they had these massive maps. And I think they got this idea from the failed Twisted Metal Harbor City. The reason for this is that originally they wanted one big open map that would be split into different sections for different battle arenas. And that's kind of what they did here. So we only have, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight main maps. And then within those maps, you can change the variation to just specific areas. So if you want to do like a very small, confined, congested map, you can do that. Or you can do the whole thing. And it's a very large map. So... I understand the way they did this, but personally, I would rather have medium to smaller maps, but have like 15 to choose from versus just eight or nine, and then have it where it's just different sections you can choose from or that you have to play throughout the story mode. I don't know. I might be in the minority there, but that's just my opinion. We're going to go get eight eight people, and I love Thrills and Spills part. It's probably my favorite map in the game. I will just do it on normal for now, and we will have health semis and pedestrians, because why not? And now with this emulator... It runs good enough, but you have to have a very, very powerful computer. So I have a 4090 GPU and I have a 7950X AMD Ryzen 9 CPU. So my computer is, you know, I'm not trying to gloat, but it's it's top of the line right now. And that's why I'm able to play this game. By all means, I highly recommend trying it out, trying to get an emulator and give it a shot because this game, it, it deserves the love. And I really hope that somebody comes out with some type of remake of this at some point or a remaster because I really did enjoy this game for its time. It just sucks the servers weren't alive as long as they should have been. Yeah, I don't really know who to choose either. There's so many like newer characters, but there's also a lot of old ones that they brought back, of course. Uh, let's do a newer character, though. Let's play somebody we haven't really or have ever seen before. Let's do Roadboat, which I think is supposed to be like Roadkill, but just a dumber name. But man, there is so much that was different in this game compared to the originals. Oh, sorry, bud. One thing they did bring back that is pretty much the same as the cons the control scheme, and this is the reason why a lot of people think this game failed, is because a lot of new players that have never played Twisted Metal before, they didn't understand it. I'm going to turn down the volume just, just a little bit. It's a pretty loud game. But yeah, they didn't understand it, and they got angry. Like, why is Square to go forward? Why is it not R2? And it's like... I understand why they went the traditional route of wanting to, you know, please the old Twisted Metal fans, but to be honest, I I could speak, I think, for everyone here, that we would have adapted if they made a new control scheme or made it more modern, right? Uh, and I think it would have been better for the overall game sales because it would have appeased to new players. 
You might also be seeing a lot of frame drops as well. That's just the, the emulator. That's just how it is. This game will never run perfect, I don't think, at least on this emulator. Uh, I hope in the future it gets better, but for right now, yeah, it's got to deal with it. But it's still playable, and then, you know, that's why it's still fun to come back to this and try it from time to time. But well, what was I saying about the, uh, yeah, about the, the control scheme? Like, even though I'm used to it, because I played the original games, of course, but I, I understand why a lot of people didn't even really try this game because they played it for five minutes and they're like, eh, this feels really weird. And I don't think you might be able to change the, uh, let's see, mapping, dual stick, race controls, class. Yeah. So they didn't even give you the option to, to specifically map out the controller to your liking. Huge bummer. Just a huge oversight. So yeah, I can understand why a lot of people didn't like it for that reason alone. And then, when it comes to the actual fans of the series, including myself, a lot of us were disappointed with what they did with the single player. The single player, uh, if you may or may not know, they pretty much went away with the classic formula of, okay, each character you choose has their own wacky backstory of why they're in the Twisted Metal contest, and they each have their own special wish they want to be granted if they were to win. They took that away, and instead, they still they brought back Calypso. They brought back that whole thing where he still has these mystical powers and can grant wishes. That's cool, but instead of having it to where every character is special, they decided to cut it down to only three, oh, pretty much four, uh, different storylines. So it's between Mr. Grimm, Dollface, Sweet Tooth, and the Preacher, which is really weird. I don't know why they chose Dollface and the Preacher to be like main characters, because they haven't, they've only been in the series since Twisted Metal Black, so that was really weird. But regardless, the the story mode was lackluster. We'll, we'll just all agree on that, right? It, it didn't live up to expectations that we were all waiting for, because this was the first Twisted Metal release, I think, yeah, since Head On, I want to say, was the, the previous one, and that was a good, like, six, seven years. Maybe even longer before this one came out. So a lot of people were hyped up for it, including myself. But that being said, the main thing I think this game is underrated for, and I'm not trying to talk shit on this game, I think it's still really good, is the gameplay. I think they knocked it out of the park. Like, control scheme aside, if you can get used to it, or if you're a native to Twisted Metal and you're just used to it as it is, the gameplay is where this game shines tremendously. It's also really pretty looking. I mean, even on the simulator, I'm not using any upscaling. I mean, I'm playing it on 4K, uh, and it's downscaling to 1080p for you guys, but it still looks really good to this day. I mean, you if you told me this was a PS3 game, I would laugh at you and say, no way, this is a PS4 at least. Like, there's no way this is PS3 era. So, yeah, the, I, I've always felt like the team over at... Uh, was it Eat Sleep Play that made this, or was it Single... Tr no, it wasn't Single Track, because they were already out of business. I don't remember who made this game, but... I know it was David Jaffe and Scott Campbell came back together. So and those guys know how to code a game. Like, they know how to make a pretty looking game. I mean, Twisted Metal Black, for instance, that's a PS2 game, and it still, to this day, looks gorgeous. But graphics aside, that's not everything, right? The main thing to me is the gameplay. And this is one of the most fun gameplay experiences in a Twisted Metal game. It's just insanely fast-paced, as you can probably tell already. It's not very difficult. I think that might have been some complaints I saw was... You know, a lot of people came from Twisted Metal Black like myself, and that game was extremely difficult. So they were kind of like, this game is like cream puff, man. It's super easy. But there is different difficulties you can set it to. And I, I think if you have it on the hardest difficulty, the AI is no joke in this game. They are super smart. And just like every Twisted Metal, I don't know if this is David Jaffe or Scott Campbell or whose choice it is, but when it comes to AI programming, like, Every Twisted Metal, they just have everybody go after you. No one fights each other, and it's kind of annoying, and it's super obvious. So, and that's no no difference here. That Every AI will just chase after you the entire time and only go for you, and it, it gets kind of <laughs> annoying after a while, but, you know, we're kind of used to it at this point. But yeah, coming back to gameplay, like, the sense of speed, insanely good. All the cars feel really good and nice to handle. I think that's something that... A lot of people have touched on with Twisted Metal is like why a lot of people who try to remake them or like make their own version of Twisted Metals never get it right in that in the sense that they try to make the cars realistically control and you just can't do that in a fighting game like this. Like your car needs to basically turn on a dime. They need to be able to twist and turn in midair and essentially they control like a character on foot but in a vehicle. It's really hard to explain unless you've actually played a Twisted Metal. And then this game got it perfect. 
in, in my opinion. I think this is one of the best playing Twisted Metal games in the series. I have to like put a counter on how many times I've said the word Twisted Metal in this video, but it's gonna be a lot. Uh, and then on top of that, they added so much new gameplay variety to this with, with the different weapons and the power-ups and just the play styles. Like, it would take me two hours to explain all of them for you, but you're probably already seeing some of them. Like, they added shotguns, sniper rifles. I like these new additions, like with the ricochets, where they actually can attach the vehicle. You see a little, like, webcam, basically, of the, of the, the bomb, and you can detonate it whenever you want from a remote distance. Stuff like that. You know, we never had that luxury before. It's super cool to see. And uh, if they were to add, or if they were to make a new Twisted Metal, I guess I can kind of transition into that. If they were to make a new Twisted Metal, I really would love for them to take a lot of these ideas and bring them to it. Because, yeah, gameplay-wise, I think they did a perfect job. I can't really say I would change anything in terms of the, the way the game plays. It's just the story issue, not enough storylines to go through, it was way too short. Not enough maps. And try to put a little bit more, I guess, love and care into the multiplayer to keep the servers alive. Because the servers were so bad, even at launch, that's why nobody played it. And the game died super quickly. Uh, and really, the only people that stayed around keeping the game supported were the Twist Metal fans like me that wanted to play just a single player. Because I didn't really care about the multiplayer. I truly didn't. Like, it was a really cool, revolutionary thing for me because I never played Twist Metal Black online or like head on on the PSP. I never got to play it during its heyday. So I never had to play online with people. So getting this game and being able to go into online servers was such a crazy, like weird, amazing feeling. Um, but it was just such a shame that it died so fast. And that again, just comes down to like them not really knowing what they were doing and not supporting the service correctly. And I've heard different stories, you know, it's not all on the developers, of course, there's, there was budget restraints and there was like Sony not communicating correctly with what they wanted as the publishers. And apparently it was like, they gave him a budget and they said, we want this to be a multiplayer only game and it's going to be like a $30 release. And they said, okay, that sounds good. And they, you know, they started developing on it for like two years. And then Sony came to them and said, just kidding. We want a full release. So $60 game. And we want you to be able to make like a full single player experience for people who don't want to play multiplayer. So in that sense, I can definitely understand the frustration and where they ran into some hiccups and the game ended up not being, you know, the perfect vision of what they wanted, which is a huge bummer because yeah, there's a lot of passion in this game. You can easily see that. I'm about to, probably gonna die here, geez. Nope, we're good. That's one thing, I forgot how much like armor the vehicles have in this game. Every every vehicle feels super strong, which is a good thing in my opinion. It makes the fights last a little longer, a little bit more strategic. You're not just like a squishy little sponge that takes three bullets and you got two two things of health left, you know what I mean? Like, I prefer how the cars feel in this game. They feel really tough, really strong. And as they should be, they got tons of, like look at my car, it's got a ton of armor on it, so. <laughs> Look at that. They turn sweet to the straight up mech suit, which is just insane. That that's definitely something they they don't need to bring back. <laughs> I could be in the minority there like I, the, yeah, the transformation thing was super cool into some metal black. But it kind of made Sweet Tooth a little like overpowered in a way. Like it especially wasn't super duper strong, but it made him the most iconic character other than just already being the mascot for the series, but like come on. His car literally transformed into a giant like firing mech. And then in this game, they went the extra mile and literally turned him into a Transformer. So, yeah, they went a little bit too overboard there. But I, I get it. They were just out trying to have fun. But, yeah, if uh, if a new Twisted Metal is coming, I just want the proper storylines to come back like we're used to. I want every character to have their own story, their own wacky, you know, cutscenes throughout the game. I want the iconic boss battles back as well. Um... They had some good bosses in this game, I will admit. I, I like the different, like, type of gameplay they mixed up with the boss battles. It wasn't all the same of just, oh, here's a big baddie with a lot of armor kind of thing. They actually had some really creative ideas, and I, I have to applaud them for it. Were some of them kind of cheap and shitty? Yeah. Like, for instance, the carnival at the very end of the game. Like, my god, I actually dread. I dreaded playing that one over and over again. And, yeah, every time you go into that, you're going to die at least, like, three times. There's no... 
There's no way you're gonna get through it first try, even on easy mode. So, yeah, they uh, they have a lot to work on there in terms of like not bringing that kind of stuff back, but the creativity was there and I have to applaud them for that. Don't bring racing back either. My God, the racing missions in the single player were stupid. Racing should never be within Twisted Metal and they should have known that. I know David Jaffe has said he regrets it, so I'm glad to hear that, that he listens to his criticism. So yeah, like that kind of stuff, Keep that out of Twisted Metal. Just keep it to the basics, the bare bones, right? We just want car combat in medium to small maps. We want a ton of different maps, a lot of variety. Good online servers that actually work. Um, a lot of different game modes would be really cool in online servers. Like, they added some really cool, unique modes. Like, nuke mode was really fun, from what I remember. I'm trying to remember all the different ones, but, you know, just different game modes. Just keep it fresh, interesting. They could even make like a search and destroy type mode where there's no respawns and you just gotta like, you know, if you, if you, if you die, you end up watching your teammates. That's like a team based game mode. That'd be super cool. I, I'd play the hell out of that. Because a lot of, and then also they could even make like a battle royale. I've been saying this for years that Twisted Metal was technically pretty much the first battle royale experience for a lot of people. And they could technically make a battle royale just in vehicle form, right? Then. Even though I, I kind of want Battle Royales to die off, I'm tired of them right now. I, if they made a Battle Royale mode for Twisted Metal, I think that'd be amazing. Now, that comes with a little bit of a fear of mine. If they were to just... And by the way, I'm purposely staying away from him. I don't want him to die yet because I'm still talking. But if they were to make a new Twisted Metal, I'm worried they might straight up just be like, Okay, this entire game is just going to be a Battle Royale. That's the point of the game. And then it's going to be like a free-to-play, right? And then everything's going to be monetized. And I don't want that. I really don't want that to happen. If they do it as a separate game mode, that's fine. But if the entire game comes out and there's no single player, it's just multiplayer and it's just like a battle rail. I'm sorry, even if it has Twisted Metal in the name, that is, that's not Twisted Metal in my opinion. That's not the same game. And I am not going to buy it. I'm, I mean, I'll try it, you know, especially if it's free-to-play. I'll give it a shot, but I'm not going to be happy. And I don't think a lot of you are going to be happy either. That being said, though, in the end, uh, I'm excited regardless. I don't care who's making it. I know it's not David Jaffe. I know it's not Scott Campbell. I know it's a new team that supposedly is working on it. And rumors say it might be the team that made the PlayStation All-Stars. Or the, no, Destruction All-Stars. That's what it was. It was that, you know, weird car combat slash Fortnite clone thing that was on PS5 at launch. And it kind of died off really quickly, so that, again, kind of worries me. Like, is it going to do the same thing with Twisted Metal? I don't know. Where is Sweet Tooth? I can't even find him now. Is he just chasing me? Yeah, he's back here. But, yeah, there, there is so much talk about this game, and I, I, that's why I'm talking so fast and trying to get through so many topics, because I, I don't want to miss anything. But, yeah, needless to say, what are your guys' thoughts on Twisted Metal PS3? Did you guys enjoy this game? Did you hate it? Did you love it? Let me know. What, what, why? What, what are your thoughts on it, right? And if there is going to be a Twisted Metal PS5, a new one coming out, will you be buying it? And what do you want to see in the game? Like, what is the major, like, top three things that you want in the game to make it your perfect Twisted Metal experience? And, uh, yeah, I'll reply to as many people as I can. Uh, thank you all so much again for all the love and support as of late. We've gained, like, 30 subscribers in the past week which is insane to me. Like that's this channel is super small. So I can't thank you guys enough for all the love and more content will be coming very soon. Just let me know. Yeah. If you have any, you know, uh, suggestions on stuff you want me to do, I'll leave them below and I will shout you out in the next video. If I end up choosing your idea. So yeah, peace out everybody.